we even had a yoke of oxen on the little cart. We'd, uh, that's the way we go from my house, which was about where we used to live over in the old place, to Curet's merchandise down in Kiel. That's where we go get our groceries. Buy them oxen down there Saturday morning. The oxen to the grocery? Yoke of oxen. Go to the woods until you come to. I told well, you it's an interesting story. Uh, Most of the store I had everything like <laughs> uh, Walmart. Mm. You could buy anything in there from a needle, buy of shoes, overalls, washing machines, mattresses, anything in the world. You want. He sawed the kitchen off. He said he saw it right here. He put the, the dollars up underneath it. He said, Mr. Moran, this is the heaviest house I ever put on wheels. He said, this house weighs over a hundred tons. It's got, it don't have two, uh, two bars. It's got six and eights and two eights, rafters. Everything's rough under this house. Big stuff. It says a hundred tons. It started with, they pulled it halfway from the buffer zone to where it's at now. It's about, how, how far, Mike? About four, five miles. Yeah, about four miles. About four miles. The first day, they pulled it from where it was original set up <coughs> to the old Kill Picayune Road. They sat there overnight. And my father, uh, daddy, Luke, stayed in the house. And it's good memories. It's not bad memories, you know. That was nine years of my life. And, and, and in, this, in this house was a lot of memories. You know, we would have family dinners. And, you know, my grandmother would cook from daylight to dark to feed all those kids, and it would. She didn't have any air conditioning or any heat. She cooked on this, you know.